This is a quick tour of Bible Survey in Canvas. On your home page of your Bible Survey course, you'll see four key links that you'll probably return to often. Recent Activity lists all recent activity in the course, including announcements, feedback, other notifications, and discussion comments. Modules we'll look at in a second. Assignments, a list of all assignments and when they're due. And a link to contact the professor. Modules is probably where you'll return to first and often, repeatedly, as you take the course. As you'll see, each week in the course has its own module, its own box containing everything for that course. When you click on the first item in that week, you can view that item and then proceed to the next by clicking Next. In addition to the resource module, which links you to the resources page, you'll see that each week has its own module or its own box containing all the items for that week. The typical sequence begins in week two. There you'll see that you begin with your reading responses. Here you'll see all the readings that you need to complete and then possible prompts for your 100 to 200 word response. Click reply and type that response into this text area and click post. You'll see all your classmates responses list here below and optionally you can respond to them as you go throughout the week. Then you'll proceed to your expert report, and according to the book you've signed up for, you'll watch the video and read the chapter, and then post an expert report with all this material. You'll post that in this text box, not in a word processor document. So type your responses directly in this box and click post, just as you did for the reading responses. You'll see all your classmates' reports, and you're assigned to comment on them as instructed here. For your memory work, you'll use your webcam to submit a media recording. When you click Submit, you'll see this interface which gives you a Record Upload button. When you click that, you get the option to either record directly in this box or upload a comment or a submission that you've recorded elsewhere. If you record directly into this box, you'll see yourself in, that, in this case it's me, and you'll click the red recording button and you'll see your audio here. It tells you if you get into the yellow and occasionally red that you've gotten a good level. You'll look directly into the camera, do your submission, and then when you're done you'll click stop. Recording button. And you'll see your... And it'll play back. Go ahead and click save. And then you will click submit to finish. When you're ready to take the quiz, you read the instructions, click Take the Quiz to begin, and you'll see a question pop up. In this case, it's matching, and you choose an option for each of those prompts, and then you'll click Next to go to the next matching question and so forth, and then click Submit Quiz. Remember all the good resources that can be found on the Resources page with a variety of different materials and your annotated resources that you'll be adding later in the course. So that's a quick look at Bible Survey. We hope it's pretty straightforward and the mechanics are simple. Contact me or the professor anytime you have a question, and we hope this summer is a great learning experience for all of us.